Hey guys, this is a 7th grade uh, standard. <clears throat> this is based on probability. Um, we're going to take a look at um, these words here. Experiment, trial, outcome, event, probability, sample space, complement. Um, we're talking about probability of an event, how to calculate that. Um, so let's talk about experiment. <clears throat> the book describes the experiment as an activity involving chance in which the results are observed. So it's an activity. In which results are observed. So if you can't see what happens, it's not an experiment. You have to be able to see for yourself what happens, right? The activity takes place, you see what happens, that's an experiment. Trial. Trials is basically uh, an observation or of an experiment. So that's basically it. It's just an observation. An observation of an experiment that took place. For example, rolling a number cube. That's a trial. Okay? You're, you're watching something take place. You're watching a trial. Outcome. Outcome is what happens, right? It's the result. It's the result of a trial, basically. Basically what happens. What actually happens. Okay? Event. Event is a set of set of one or more outcomes. And that's what we're looking for. The probability of an event is the number of times the event occurs, what you're looking for out of the total possible outcomes, what you what can possibly happen. So again, this is what you're looking for, right? Put a little put a little eyes. You're looking for something, right? But this is the total possibility, right? You want a specific outcome, but you know this, the total of what possibly could happen. So we'll talk more about that in a second. Probability of an event is uh, it's basically just what I just said, that uh, it measures the likelihood of an event that take actually will happen, right? So measures likelihood that that likelihood sorry likelihood that the event will actually occur sample space sample space is basically um, kind of what could happen right these are all the total possible outcomes so it's a set of all possible <clears throat> All, right? This is total possible outcomes of an event. Okay, complement. Complement of an event is the set of outcomes set of all outcomes that are not included in the event so uh, how do I say well we'll explain that in a second we'll talk about probability first and this this will make more sense and I'm spending a lot of time on these definitions only because you, if you don't understand the concept of what probability is asking, um, then uh, you'll have a hard time understanding every time I refer back to these terms um, what the actual concept is, right? You have to understand what the words mean in order to use the language, right? So that are not included, right? Not included. 
in the event. And this, this is the event that you're looking for. Okay? This is what the event that you want to occur. So we'll talk about that in a second. So let's talk about number one. <clears throat> and these and these are examples found in your book. Uh, I didn't refer to them, just, you know, I usually normally change it, but uh, just in case, uh, if you want to look in your lesson, you can find them. Um, basically, let's just go through this, and hopefully this will make, we'll make it all, all sense here in a second. Number one, so if I have a hat that contains 16 pieces of paper, each one's numbered 1 through 16, what's the probability of picking an even number? Okay, and then you have to use these also, so there's going to be two answers. Um, I'm going to ask I'm going to ask you, what's the probability of picking an even number, and is it one of these? You know, which one would you pick? Is it zero impossible? Is it close to zero, which is unlikely? Is it one half, as likely as not? That's the English terminology there. Is it close to one, which is which would we say likely, or is it one certain? Okay. So let's talk about it. Let's let's create a sample space of all possible outcomes. So sample space would be well, you've got 16 numbers. Out of those 16 numbers, which ones are even? Uh, let's see if I can get me a different marker here. Let's do it. Let's get a green one here. So if I have, okay, so let's do one, three. I'm going to do the odd ones first. Five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen. All right? Those are going to be your your odd ones. The ones we're looking for are. What? We're looking for, let me get a blue here. We're looking just for the even ones, right? We're looking for even only. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. Well, if you count out how many you have, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if you look back up here in your formula, the probability, probability of an event that it will occur, the times that it, that we that an event even number will be picked, is eight out of how many total? Eight out of sixteen. There's sixteen numbers. Put that in those terms. It's one half. Okay, that's your answer. One half. You have a fifty percent chance of picking a, an even number, and that's going to be here, as likely as not, as likely as not. So that's it. So you answer that question. Number two. For number two and number three, it says find each probability. Write your answers in simplest form. All right. So number two, picking a mar purple marble from a jar with ten green and ten purple marbles. Okay. So what's the probability of you picking a purple? Well, you've got ten. So you've got ten possible. So there's ten ten times that actually could occur, right? But what's the total outcomes? Well, you got 20 marbles. That's your total. So 20 is going to be your, your denominator. But 10 is what you're looking for. Lowest terms is one half. Basically, it's 50%. You've got a 50% chance of getting a purple. Okay? Pretty simple, right? Number three. Rolling a number greater than four on a standard number cube. Well, greater than four. Well, what's greater than four? And what's a number cube? Well, a number cube, so I'm going to create a sample space. It's got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Those are the numbers of a number cube, okay? Or die, if you have a die. But the only numbers that are greater than four are only two. Only five and six are greater than four. So what are you looking for? You're looking just for five and six. So back to your formula again. You're looking for how many times the event occurs. Well, only a five and a six can occur if you want to get a number greater than four. So you only can get two possible answers, right? Well, how, what's the total number of numbers on a number cube? Well, it's six. So this is going to be your bottom number. People make a lot of mistakes here. They'll, they'll say two out of four. And the problem is there's not four possible outcomes. There's six possible outcomes. You're just looking for the two here, right? So make sure you put down the total. This is the total. You have to include the ones you're looking for and the ones you're not looking for, okay? So this is what you want, right? 
out of the total. In Lowe's terms, that's one third, or 33%. Okay. And if you go back up here, if we had to pick one of these terms, you don't have to, but if we did, right? It's not impossible. It is close to zero. It's not a It's not half, right? It's less than half. It's less than 50%. So it's going to be unlikely. So it's unlikely that you'll get a five or six. You might be asking, well, what's one? One means 100%. That's what one represents. It's certain. Okay? If you're playing a game that's certain, it's not a game. It's a guarantee. Okay? Number four. A jar contains eight marbles marked with the numbers one through eight. You pick a marble at random. Okay? Obviously. Because if you pick the one that you want, you're going to win every single time. All right? What's the probability of not picking the marble marked with number five? Well, again, if you create sample space, Okay, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, what's not 5? Well, a lot of numbers. Okay, 1's not 5, 2's not 5, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. So what's the probability of you picking a marble that's not 5? Well, you've got 7 of them, right? So 7 out of 8. That's a pretty high chance. Right? Pretty high chance. So this leads me to complement. So complement is very, very close to what we're doing here. The probability of picking a number 5, right, is, is going to be 1 out of 8. Right? So getting a 5 is 1 out of 8. But not picking 5 is 7 out of 8. So 7 out of 8 is the complement of picking a 5. So... If I said, um, let me go back to here. We're only a number, cube, uh, number greater than 4 in a standard number cube, right? What's the probability of, uh, probability of me not picking a number that's greater than 4? Well, I've got 4 of them. 4 out of 6, or 2 thirds in lowest terms, 2 thirds would be the complement to 1 third. So I have a higher chance of not picking a number greater than 4 than, than picking a, greater, a number 4 less, okay? So that's what complement means. It means the other side of the coin, basically. So 5, we're in with this. If my chance of winning a certain game is 1 out of 100, right, 1%, what's its complement? Well, what's, what's the other side? If 1%, I've you know, 1% chance of winning, what's the chance of me not winning? 99%. That's going to be the complement. That's what complement means. So 99%. And if you heard, the house always wins, that's basically the house right there. Well, this is basically it. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later on Zoom uh, in reference to this a particular week that we'll go over this. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, shoot me an email. I'd be happy to do a few more examples if anything throws you off. Uh, hopefully you get this. Uh, this is a big lesson. This is going to lead us into experimental probability and theoretical probability. And this is all based on what you see here. Okay? Uh, God bless. See you guys later. And certainly in the next video.